Mm. Oh, no. Good windy Wednesday, one and all. I'm Hayes. This studio is Armoured Brownies. And you know what? Yep, we're starting with a Wednesday because you might have noticed a bit of a gap in the channel. In fact, you might, if you were particularly astute and, you know, read the annotations, you'll know that my last vlog that went up was an old vlog. And I say old, I mean, it went up two weeks late, which means we are two weeks from the end of that vlog now. But I did try and record a couple of things, but the whole not having recorded did mean that I kind of didn't know how to restart. So I kind of put it off and put it off. So we're just gonna restart. Yeah, here we are. So just as a little show, here is the Monday after the end of the last vlog, just before I started having all of those computer problems and lost a whole load of footage. Welcome gals, guys, and everyone else. Thank you friends for joining us for another week. It is a moody and kind of macabre Monday. And I'll show you why in a sec. It's moody because the weather, but then the sun came out. So I was able to get all of these road hogs done, but now it's a bit macabre because I'm coming out here. We've avoided any rains yet and there's some blue skies over there which means slowly making the way over here to do some fiberglass moulding. I come out here, I've always got my PPE. You know, the only time I come over here is to do fiberglass work. This, this little area here. Everything else I do inside or over there because it's close to the compressor. Blah, blah, blah. But when I took my PPE off I noticed there's a lot of flies around here. And also a god awful smell. Oh, it's horrid. And um... And yeah, this was the cause. I have no idea what it is, but it's a bit of maggot infested, fly covered gristle. I only just noticed this coming over here and now, that over here there's actually some other bones. Oh my God, what's been, that's really creepy. And what are those, are those bones? Are those old? No, those look like mushrooms. And there's a spider bro, but no, those look like mushrooms. Those are some older bones. Uh, well, my, my first thought when I saw it was, um, was maybe some people threw some gristle over our back, over the, um, fence or something, but our neighbours are awesome, so it's not that, but, um, I have to move that now. So, on this Monday, the hardest thing I have to do isn't a two-part fiberglass mould for something larger than I've ever had to do, it's moving that, so, uh, wish me luck. Good job I've got a um, breather. Mm. Yeah, Ugh. yep. That is how the last vlog would have started, which, which is such a shame to have lost that because it starts with grizzled entrails. But anyway, what have we been up to in the last like two weeks? I guess is what we're going to lead with. Well, I've made two of my most ambitious molds so far. One of which is Zenyatta and the other was this really awesome like rat creature. Oh, I love that rat. How, however, the way the um, mold making went on that rat had a couple of failed castings, so we don't have a finished version of that rat, but we'll be doing that soon, probably on stream because you know, I can't help myself at stream. Zenyatta, however, ooh, that mold came out fantastically. And well, we've got some footage of me wearing it and we're gonna be painting it this week and we just gotta try and find a point where the weather is nice. Now, it looks nice right now, but it's been raining and it is windier than I could possibly describe at the moment. We've got a bit of a lull at the moment, but we've just had a bit of a storm last night, I think. However, that isn't great for spraying. And since I do my spraying outside because of the, um, because of the vapor and all that, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're just gonna have to deal with it, wait for a time that's better. We're getting towards the end of the year now as well, which means anything that involves latex, like Groot, I am going to have to suck it up and actually finish him. Yep, I need to finish him whilst we still have periods of bright, sunny days. And there is a chance, because we're, we're, September's just gone, there is a chance that we're gonna have one last heat wave before the end of the year. And I've got to capitalize on that and get the rest of Groot done. In fact, it may very well be this week that is, is the week that I'm trying to describe. So that might have to happen along with Vetra, along with Mercy. But right now I'm sculpting, of all things, Gru, which I would never have seen myself in a million years sculpting something like this. And it's proving a bit of a challenge because um, this, this happened with the last thing I sculpted in this clay as well. It is not strong enough to support itself, but it is 
really like wet and easy to do big shapes in a way that wed clay is kind of a hybrid between this and um, monster clay. So we're learning things all over, but this will also be a brand new scale of this mold. Cause I'm going to be doing this in plaster, but I'm going to be doing it in a different way to hopefully expedite the molding process. But we're going to see how that goes because don't know how that's going to work, but also got my Etsy orders to go through and also university is starting again um, in a couple of weeks. So that is one of the big reasons I want to get back into a good habit of making vlogs because if I fall out of the habit, it's going to be really easy to stop making content for you lot. And I love this. I love con communicating with you lot, talking in the comments. I love all of that. And if you'll excuse me, the self-indulgent five minute, the five minute long rant at the beginning of this video, uh, your community and your support is what really drives me and helps me. And sometimes I miss that. Sometimes I, I, sometimes I do not appreciate that fact. I don't appreciate the fact that, that if I go and stream, that makes me feel better. If I edit a video and put it up, and start getting comments and get views, that makes me feel better and more inclined to work. So, and, but, but if I stop working, I get complacent, I get sad, and I don't have that mood boost that I get from interacting and being social. So, oof, yep, this wind is going. So that's what we're gonna try and get our greasy little hooks into before we go back to university. But you know what? I don't know how much I'm gonna share with you from university. Maybe only the stuff that's costume related or maybe only the stuff that's related to making costumes. Maybe you're interested in what particular, what goes into a model making degree. And if you ever thought about Arts University Bournemouth, who knows, let's just, let's just have a bit more from the Captain Faz mug. And um, let's get on with the day, shall we? Hmm. Cool, it's Thursday once again, and we are, kind of just trying to get ourselves geared back into actually doing stuff every day. Got to sort out this big floppy, ugly looking rat mask. And it's ugly in that it's been sculpted to be ugly and kind of a bit nasty. We have that sculpt to be getting on with, which hopefully some people can recognize them. However, I had a couple of difficulties with the sculpt as I'm not used to working with this clay and um, this happened to him. So hopefully that's not going to put it back too much. I have, We've got Groot ready to one side um, for the time that he gets to, for the time that uh, we actually get a nice prolonged sunny day. And I've also got a couple of gloves that I'm going to, because my original plan was to 3D print some hand extenders, some hand extender things. Um, but I'm just going to build the whole thing out of foam just because getting it done is more important than having everything on top, if that makes sense. So I can alter it post hoc. I mean, in some ways, the same goes for Mercy and Vetra. Vetra, I want, I want to get Vetra done right now more than I want to get Mercy done, which is a bad sign because I don't want Mercy to hang over me for the for like an entire year. But you know, uh, other things that I need to get done. We need to remake our Roadhog mold. This is my old master, so I need to fix the master up and do another mold because, oh. You guys are hungry for road hogs, but you know what's going to happen tonight? My sisters of battle, my heavily converted sisters of battle army are getting their first outing. And also my first um, play around at 8th edition. So see how that goes. But for now, I'm going to put a little sculpt, bit of sculpting time waiting for the game store to, um, waiting for the game night to happen. And probably put a bit more time into the expanse because, ooh, the new season's good. That was Bojack. Anyway, see you in a bit. Precipitous Friday to you all as we start to get ahead with our projects. You might have seen behind me, Gru sitting there being sculpted. Um, a couple of other things spent this morning you know just getting admin stuff sorted then i got um groot out i got uh, zenyatta out to um to work on and it was a it was a really really nice day this morning and no, no clouds no anything i go in and have lunch and i come out and groot is literally like actually groot is actually sodden through so 
I've now got to um, now I've got to dry them out before I can do anything with him, which is really annoying because I was going to use the nice day to um, to go over it with the soldering iron and put some like score marks in it and give it a bit of texture. Same with Zenyatta. I now have to like dry Zenyatta off before I can start um, spraying him, which is really annoying because I wanted to get him uh, painted today. But instead, it looks like I'm going to be having to do stuff inside. Ooh, neighbors are getting restless. But I'm coming over here. So last night was fun. It was my first game of 8th edition 40K and I didn't like film it or anything because that would feel weird um, to film a game that somebody, somebody was giving me like an intro game to 8th. But it was my sister, the battle versus his tower, thousand points. And it was looking pretty close until um, I think he forgot that my emulators still had uh, each had a unit in them. So they jumped out and evaporated some key targets and the game went downhill from there. It was great, but it was quite frightening to see some of that Tau firepower just evaporate half my army on their first turn Alpha Strike. But you know, that's, uh, that's, that's way too geeky for this um, crafting and cosplay vlog. Yes, we, we have levels of geek here, don't we? Um, Oh, I don't know. So, right, what are we going to do? Um, I should remake my Roadhog mold, sort that out, sort Gru out, get Gru, get Gru in a position where I'm ready to mold him and just actually have a productive day. It's already. How did it get to? The, how did it get to the afternoon already? How? How does the afternoon creep up like this every time? So just starting up on Saturday, moving things out so that nice outside to deal with and oop, let's not forget that. But I thought the inclusion of the Monday, I thought the inclusion of the Monday clip at the beginning of the video was like apropos of nothing. It was like a callback to, to a vlog video that, that will never be. But look what arrived overnight. It is more, um, I think that's, is that lamb or is it chicken? Who knows, but we have, oh, these, they're, they're not as rancid as the last ones we had yet. So I don't think the um, flies have really gotten to it. So we're gonna get that out of the way before we start to this, um, this grizzly Saturday. It's just because we keep feeding cats. This week continues to be unproductive and I brought all of my Groot stuff outside to work on. And as you can see, I uh, went away for a moment and everything's now drenched. So um, I can't work on Groot whilst it's wet because um, I have a much better chance of pulling apart the glue if it's wet, so I've got to wait for him to dry out. Also, I want to use a soldering iron to um, etch details into him. And if it's wet, that's not going to work. Also. I had put um, Zenyatta out so I could um, get ready to spray him, but no, he got soaked through. So I've wiped him down and um, just got to wait for all the um, all the moisture in the recesses to go away. But I am determined to get this sprayed today. But the worst part of today is the fact that um, grew my sculpt from under here that's no that's not where his nose is okay so his nose seems like it's still in a similar location should we see what state this is actually in i don't know i don't know about you but that doesn't look like a tenable um because i've been supporting this clay by putting these this blocks of foam underneath the cheek but as you can see the second i've removed them the clay seems to um Let's get this, uh, let's get this off. Yep, and there you can see some of the armature wire. Oh my God, so it's the entire bot. Those are the eyeballs. Okay, um, I don't know, this might be not safe for work. I was planning on molding him today. I mean, that is what you get for doing a rather ambitious sculpt with a um, in a new medium. You can see here's all of the um, 
all of the tin foil I put on underneath it to bulk it out and make it lighter. I just think this, I have uh, made a misstep with this clay, as I think my normal clay would be able to support this. And you can see there's a bunch of aluminium rods in there. Um, I've, cut a, I've cut a few more. And we're going to be um, go, going over that now. And, oh, there's, there's his nose. Shittles. Also, um, some of my wonderful art here. Got the um, artist details next to all of them. Um, this one down here, apparently um, a snail has taken a liking to it and got in, ate a bunch of the corner of this art and um, got away. You can see there's there's actually some snail poop down there because I left the, um, left the window open, so. Ah. And then we made it to Sunday, but I didn't record any direct to face vlog stuff. I just ended up streaming and also kind of recording myself doing a little bit of spraying to finish up the painting on Zenyatta. You can see here, I'm actually using a material called Alclad. It is not so much a paint, but a metallic spraying system. It's kind of an advanced, really weird technical um, metallic paint, and it's fantastic. Oh, it's mostly used for miniatures and such, and well, replicas, so it's good here. I even use a little bit of it, a little bit of the chrome stuff to kind of highlight the metallic automotive spray that I've used for the rest of the metal, metal on him, which has such a nice effect when it catches the light. And then, just to be fancy, we actually end up using this black 2.0, which is the um, really kind of overheight, not Vanta black, but the one that's like, hey, artists get to use this. Couple of types of very fancy paint have gone on to create a really, really nice first base coat for Zenyatta. Let's weather him and put some electronics in him, shall we? The rest of the day I spend entirely on mold making. We did it throughout the stream because I need to remake my Roadhog mold and his filters and I have the parts of the junk rat that I've been like I 3D printed like a year ago maybe that I need to make the molds for so we can actually produce a bunch of a bunch of the junk rat grenades. And, oh. So the entire point of the stream was just to put lots of time into these molds and I went overboard. I over, not so much over engineered, but just put lots of time into building up the mold walls, making sure that the pieces we were molding were really nicely seated, thinking through where the marbles would be to act as locators between the two halves, making sure there's channels to stop material escaping, even if it is slightly misaligned, but making sure that there's enough there are enough registration keys that nothing will get misaligned. Unfortunately, as um, as you'll know if you were watching the stream, or as you'll probably find out in next week's vlog, because I carry on with these on the Monday, I actually didn't have enough silicon to finish off the junk rat grenades. So we got about we got half of it poured, but what? But one of the good things about doing one of the good things about doing the mold making this way where I'm building building up all the clay around them putting the walls on and then doing the next one is that it gives plenty of time for the clear lacquer that I put down because I like putting down a clear lacquer over the clay that we put down so the moisture in the clay doesn't interfere with the silicon that we're going to put down and then from there you need to wait for that to you need to wait for the clear lacquer to dry because I'm always worried about the lacquer interfering with the silicon and its setting. So if you do it in this order, you actually could get plenty of time for the mold that you put together at first for it to like set and dry. And then we pour it, and then we end up pouring all of our lovely, lovely silicon. Oh, it looks tasty. And we just do the first layers and everything. Well, the dump molds get only get one layer, but Roadhog gets his detail layer and then tomorrow we do all of his brush on coat and that was the week turns out quite productive 
I may have lost a couple of weeks to apathy, depression, you know. You know, you, you should be used to this by now. But to everybody that made it through here to the end of the video, thank you so much. Here's some more looks at Zenyatta and hopefully I'll see you next week. Thank you for joining me and goodbye. There's a